Nigeria, a country in West Africa, had been under military rule for 16 years, from 1983 to 1999. The country had experienced a series of military junta, which undermined the growth of democracy in the country. However, in 1999, Nigeria went back to democratic rule, and this is the story of how it happened. After the sudden death of the last military ruler, General Sonny Abasha, in 1998, General Abdusalam Baka was sworn in as president. He promised to transition the country democracy within the year and transfer power to an elected president. To achieve this, he established the Independent National Electoral Commission, which appointed former Supreme Court Justice Ephraim Apata as chairman. 26 political associations submitted their parties to INEC, but only nine were given professional registrations as political parties for the 1998-1999 election. Eventually, this number was whistled down to three parties. INEC had a series of elections starting with local government elections in December 1998, followed by elections for state assemblies, governors and national assemblies. Finally, on February 27, 1999, Nigeria held its presidential election. Despite INEC efforts to ensure a free and fair election, there were widespread irregularities that drew criticism from foreign observers. Nevertheless, on May 29, 1999, General Abaka handed over power to the newly elected civilian president, General Olusego of Passenger, and retired from the army. I, Olusegun Obasanjo, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear that I will be faithful, that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance, and bear true allegiance to the Federal Republic of Nigeria, to the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and that I will preserve and that I will preserve, protect, protect, and defend, and defend the constitution, the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So help me God. So help me God. <laughs> of Nigeria. I will discharge my duty. Thank you. Nigeria had returned to democracy and a new constitution was adopted. The hand of military rule brought about significant changes in Nigeria. Regular elections, the restoration of civil libraries, a free press, and an end to torture were all accomplished. However, there are still questions to be asked about Nigeria democracy. Has anything changed since 1999? Has democracy primary goal been achieved? Do Nigerians actually live in the democracy? These are questions we should be asking, and we would like to hear your thoughts in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you.